Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about one of my absolute favorite things to talk about. Loose setting powders. <laughs> we all know that I have this thing for them and I have two to talk about today. We have the Co-Gendo Menefici Sheer Loose at it's written down below. So we have this guy here and then one from Linda Hauber Cosmetics, the Infinity Filter Loose Setting Powder. I'm going to give you guys all the information about both of them. I'm going to demo them and then I'm going to talk about it. This is not a first impressions. I have been using these. I definitely have thoughts on them. Spoiler alert, I like them both, but they are different. Now, if you are wondering about, you know, my last video was uh, not a very happy one. It was kind of sad. I took that down. I will talk about that at the end because I just don't want to start off like that. So let's get into the good stuff and start off with the Infinity Filter Loose Setting Powder from Linda Hauber Cosmetics. This comes in three different shades. I use the shade Light and then there's also the shade Medium right here. I don't have these open, I'm sorry. And then I also have the shade Deep. You're getting nine grams of product and it is $32. So I'm gonna go on the website and read to you what that says. Why use digital filters on your photos when you can use Infinity Filter in real life? Infinity Filter Loose Setting Powder is the queen of all loose setting powders. Just like a filter, it erases all traces of complexions and gives the skin a beautiful soft blurring effect without dehydrating your skin. Infinity Filter is perfume free and comes in three shades and thanks to its micro fine texture, it will instantly melt into the skin leaving a beautiful soft matte finish with a natural glow. All right, moving on to the powder from Co Gendo. This one's going to run you $50, but you're getting more product. It is 12 grams. So I'm gonna go to the website and tell you what they say about it. Transform your dull skin into a silky and radiant complexion. This soft focus powder contains superior light reflecting minerals that give skin a velvety glow. So lightweight that it feels like you're wearing no makeup at all, sheer lucent powder provides long lasting, oil absorbing benefits to keep the skin smooth and shine free for hours. The serum enriched mineral powder contains T3 oil, our signature blend of jojoba seed oil, olive squalene and shea butter to protect skin's moisture. Ceramides, hibiscus <laughs> extract and hyaluronic acid help contribute to your skin's radiant health. Oh my goodness, I can't speak. I am so sorry. <laughs> but again, this one is 12 grams of product and it's 50. And then this one over here is 32 and nine grams of product. So I'm going to apply both of these to each side of my face. And then I'm going to tell you guys what I think about them. I'm going to start off on this side and I'm going to be using the Cogendo. Now I have not liked either one of these to bake with. So today I use them with my Delium 785. I have two of these so I was able to just go back and forth. So I set underneath my eyes with this and it looks like I'm putting on a lot <laughs> but this powder is just a little bit thicker than the other so it looks like it's applying more but it smooths out my pores really nicely. It set everything and it actually really brightened up underneath my eyes. And then I took my Sonia Kashuk brush and I just set the rest of the side of my face. I do feel that this powder lightens up my foundation just a little bit, but it melts in really nicely. It does have a very, very slight glow, but it's mainly matte on my skin and it feels weightless. It does not feel dry or anything like that. On this side, I went in with the Linda Hauber Cosmetics Loose Setting Powder. And as you can see, it didn't brighten, but it also didn't darken. And that's what I wanted to see because I love the Hyaluronic Powder from By Terry. And this kind of has the same kind of texture, but this one didn't darken. It didn't brighten, but it didn't alter the shade of my concealer at all. And then when I went in on my face, Again, it just melted in. It feels like nothing. It would almost look like I didn't have any powder on my skin if it wasn't a matte 
finish. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom you guys in so you can see the powder side by side. Remember, this side with the freckle is the Kojin Do, and then this side is the Linda Hallberg Cosmetics. Both sides, my pores looked amazing. I do feel like they look just a slightly bit better with the Linda Hallberg powder. I feel like the Linda Hallberg side looks just like a slightly more natural, like thinner on the skin. Not that the Kogendo looks heavy, but I feel like the Kogendo has more of that velvety kind of texture, so it's a little bit more smoothing. But the Linda Hallberg is more natural and still smoothing at the same time. It's very blurring. As I mentioned, I think the Kogendo did lighten up my foundation a little bit, whereas the Linda Hallberg did not. And I think that the Linda Hallberg is just slightly lighter weight. Neither one of these feel dry on my skin at all. If I had to pick one of these for underneath my eye, I think that I would go with the Kogan Doe, but honestly, neither one of them are gonna be ones that I use. I still like my Huda powder and baking for underneath the eye. I didn't like either one of these powders for baking, but I do like they both look great. I just like my Huda powder more, and I don't like the Huda powder on the rest of my face. These are so gorgeous. I'm telling you, my skin does not feel dry at all. This is gonna be a personal preference kind of thing. I think that if you want something super duper natural, very lightweight, and has some color options, the Linda Hallberg is going to be the way to go. And I think that it blurs the pores just a little bit more. So I have really liked to keep this in my purse and like a little fluffy brush and just go right here on my pores and it just smooths them right away. You know, you're getting oily throughout the day or anything like that. This side has a slight little bit more of a glow to it but it's not radiant. So it's not like the Sisley or the Hourglass or the La Mer or anything like that. It's closer to the YSL Souffle de Clot, but still not as radiant as that. It's somewhere in between. I'm very happy with both of these powders. I think that they are gorgeous. So if you are considering buying or looking into either one of them, I would definitely suggest them. I would just say this one's a little bit thicker, this one's a little bit more natural, both are beautiful. But that is it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you don't wanna hear what else I have to say about what's going on, just click away. Thank you for watching. I wanna let you guys know how much, like how grateful I am for you guys. I and beyond words. When I got all the love and support on my video and letting you guys know what was going on, I was overwhelmed. I, and I got a lot of messages and there's a lot of things I wasn't able to respond to because it was just flooded. But it's not the reaction that I expected. I'm not used to being weak on camera. It, it, it's just, I'm, I'm, I'm grateful. I'm so grateful to you guys. I'm in a much better place right now. My family and I are working on things. You know, it's, uh, we put our house up for sale and then took it back down. It's, it's been a roller coaster. I am rooting for a good outcome. That's all I really want to say. It's going to be a rough little time here, but it's going to be okay. And I just, I thank you guys so much. I thank you from the bottom of my heart. I don't want anybody to think that what you said to me was unnoticed or that I just didn't see or care or anything like that. I do. I'm so grateful. I love you guys so, 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 so much. And I will let you guys know in the future, this is not something that I'm going to keep talking about because I can't, but I love you guys, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.